Hey adventurers, check out this little Mojave rattlesnake. This is the first snake that we have seen out here in the Mojave this year. It is going to be a crazy spring once things get going and he's just moving out of the way. I don't want him to get too close to me because these are obviously quite venomous. Um, and this is a very, very young snake. It's still early spring and peak herping season in Southern California is just on the horizon. Many days are still in the mid 60s, but we popped over to the Mojave Desert where temperatures are just a little bit warmer. Let's go find our first snakes of the season. Ooh, haha, -ha, yes! What'd you get? No! Long way. nose! Hell yeah! Look at that, yeah! yeah. Check that guy out right there. I have just finally flipped up my very first long nose snakes. Now these are very beautiful snakes. Uh, this one has a good amount of red on the side there. Um, we have certainly seen some that are much more black and white in color, but they'll always have sort of this little speckling that you can see on the side. Let me get in a little bit closer for you so you can see that. Um, and so it's like one of the ways that we can identify this guy versus uh, king snakes, which uh, don't have uh, the California king snakes out here don't have the red color but if it was just black and white uh, that little speckling the king snakes don't have and so it's one of the ways that we can differentiate them but it's a cool little snake here um, this is just uh, Z would you say this is like a, a first year yeah that was definitely born in fall um, and this was his first spring his or her yeah so this tiny, may tiny. we may be the very first people to ever see this snake Certainly the first ones to flip him up out here. So that's pretty exciting to see. So it is pretty early in the spring, but we are still having some good luck. So hopefully we'll have a bit more to show you um, after we let this guy go back under his board. Oh, nice. Check that out. We just got our third snake in this little board line up here. This is another Mojave rattlesnake. It is turning into a good day. We spent the morning just flipping all sorts of things and finding absolutely nothing. I had even told Z we should go home and just have a beer, but he was determined. And so we came out here and now we are three snakes deep. Excellent. Ooh, there goes a mouse. Check that out. All right. There he is. Now, I don't know much about mice. This is probably one of the North American deer mice. There's a handful of species that are out here, but it's cool to see that guy. He has probably a couple of these boards that he uses as a burrow. Here, I'm gonna put this back down. There you go, he'll scoot out. He's under here now, but you can see under here, he collected all of this fluff to have to keep him warm at night and probably uses these burrows to move around under the wood there. But that is snake food. And so it seems like a really dangerous spot because that, uh, that Mojave rattlesnake was just under this board. And so I am almost certain that this snake can smell that mouse. So let me see if he's still there to see. Yep, you can make it out. There he is. Just enjoying himself. Oh, bunch of them. Whoa, look at them all. Whoa, that's- Just run into my car. That's kind of crazy, but kind of cool. Mice party here. There's just a couple more left. They're just trying to hide somewhere, but we're gonna put this board back. I don't want them to get smushed. Should be all right. They're running off. What's under here? Another mouse. Another mouse. I think he just ran from the other one. Oh. What was that? No, side blotch lizard. <laughs> Certainly seen a lot of those. Some more of side blotch lizard. Oh, look at all those burrows. Those are, I don't know, are those from the mice, maybe? Well, the kangaroo 
rats out there too. Oh yeah. Oh, nice side blotch. Let's pick up this big thing. Any snakes? No snakes. Anybody there? Nobody here. Oh, oh, nice! Check that out! This is a beautiful coach whip. And it's all called up, not moving at all. I love really this. That. that is cool. Usually these guys bolt. And they're super bitey. He's probably gonna bolt, but oh, but Zeev's got him. The fastest hands in the <laughs> West. There you go. Bye, buddy. Nice big board. What do we got? More mice. Bunch of mice. They're going all over the place. Nice. He's hasn't even woken up yet. <laughs> uh, just caught our obligatory side blotch lizard that just seems to be everywhere out here. This guy is asleep still. Uh, he's kind of funny. He is only for about 10 seconds now. But... Yeah, very cool. We have seen some very colorful ones. This one isn't as colorful, um, but still got a really nice pattern to it. Excellent. I think they're super underrated lizards. There he goes, back under his carpet. Well, Steve just picked up one of those little mouse mice that we found. Look at him. Now, in order to identify these guys, you usually have to look at their teeth, um, but we're not going to do that because I don't want anybody to get bit by accident. Oh, that little guy. Is this has certainly been a great day. We have seen a couple dozen of these guys running around, uh, and that just means that there is a lot of food available to the snakes that we will find later in the year. Oh, nice! Look at that. These are California legless lizards, northern legless lizards, possibly, probably. Um, there's a lot of research being done into these guys, so they might end up being a different species in the future. But they look like snakes, they look like worms, but because they have no legs on them. But these are indeed lizards. And uh, if we, here, let me pick one up. They have lovely yellow, wait, what color? Oh, all silver, huh? No, all silver. No, this is going to be a different species. This is all silver, too. Interesting. Oh. This is not the species I thought it was. Um, we'll have to take a quick look at the book because I've forgotten. Well, no, technically by range, these are all northern here, but that's what I'm saying. That's what USGS is looking at right now is um, getting more samples from areas that have been undersampled in the past and see what other species might be hiding in the species complex. So technically these are, these are northern legless lizards by current, current taxonomy. Yeah. Uh, they're also young, so it could be the yellow would come in in a while. But yeah, I haven't seen pure silver ones like this before. Interesting. All right, so we just came <clears throat> to Zeev's home and found some more legless lizards. Look, this is an adult and this is a juvenile. Now, the juveniles have these gray bellies, which is why I was confused. And this adult is nice and bright yellow. Now all that you hear in the background, that is Zeev spraying down the board so that they have nice moist dirt to, uh, to live in. But this is so cool. And it's really, I mean, just look at the size of this. This is mm, maybe seven, seven or eight inches long. And this guy is like four and a half inches. Um, but so cool to see these guys, these legless lizards. It's a very unique species. But thanks so much for watching and enjoying all the cool things that we found today. I'm Greg Schechter. 
This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field. Look at that, he doesn't even need to go under the board. He's just digging, digging into all this dirt right here. The young one also into the dirt. There you go. All right, all the way, bye-bye.